Another day, another story. The story's name is Solitude, Path to Enlightenment. Every great man of the world has searched for self in solitude, and only in isolation can a man attain the knowledge of his God and the recognition of his self. Solitude is the sanctuary where the soul finds its authentic voice. The world's noise fades in solitude, allowing inner clarity to emerge. In solitude, one can fully explore and understand the depths of their thoughts and emotions. Solitude provides a space for reflection, self-discovery, and personal growth. Away from distractions, Solitude allows us to reconnect with our authentic selves. In the silence of solitude, one can hear the whispers of the divine and feel a profound connection to something greater. Solitude allows us to explore our passions, dreams, and desires without judgment or interruption. We cultivate resilience, independence, and a deeper understanding of our strengths and weaknesses through solitude. Solitude is essential for introspection and gaining insights into our own patterns, choices, and life's purpose. In solitude, we find solace, rejuvenation, and the space to nurture our well-being. Ultimately, solitude is a sacred gift that allows us to nourish our souls and embark on a journey of self-realization. This story is also about a person who has discovered the secret of solitude and begun to search for himself. In a small village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain range, an old man named Samuel lived. With a flowing white beard and wrinkles etched deeply into his weathered face, he was known throughout the village as a wise and contemplative soul. Samuel had spent a lifetime seeking answers to life's profound questions, and through his many experiences, he had come to believe that God's realization could be attained only in solitude. From a young age, Samuel had been drawn to the wonders of nature. He would often wander off into the wilderness, seeking solace in the forest's vastness and the river's tranquility. As he grew older, his longing for solitude increased, and he would retreat to a small hut high up in the mountains, far away from the hustle and bustle of the village. Samuel would spend his days meditating, reflecting, and communing with nature in his secluded sanctuary. He would rise with the sun, his eyes sparkling with anticipation, and immerse himself in the symphony of birdsong that filled the air. He would sit by a bubbling stream, listening to the gentle melodies it played, and lose himself in the dance of sunlight on the water's surface. In the stillness of the night, he would gaze up at the stars, feeling their ancient wisdom permeate his being. The villagers often sought Samuel's counsel, for they recognized the depth of his wisdom and the peace emanating from his very being. They would trek up the mountainside, their footsteps light with anticipation and wait patiently outside his humble abode. And when the old man emerged from his solitude, he would greet them with a gentle smile, his eyes sparkling with understanding. Samuel would listen intently to their questions and dilemmas, offering guidance and solace with words born out of his intimate connection with the Divine. He would tell them that in the silence of solitude, one could truly hear the whispers of the holy and discover the depths of one's soul. He shared stories of his own journey, of the moments of awe and revelation that had shaped his understanding of the world and its mysteries. Over the years, Samuel became a revered figure in the village, and his teachings spread far and wide. People from distant lands would journey to seek his wisdom, drawn by the tales of transformation and enlightenment that had emerged from his solitude. They, too, would spend time in quiet contemplation, imbibing the lessons that nature and solitude had to offer. As Samuel grew older, his steps slowed, and his days were marked by quiet contentment. He knew his time on this earth was drawing close, but he was at peace, for he had fulfilled his purpose. 
He had shared his knowledge, experiences, and love for solitude with countless souls who had embarked on their own journeys of self-discovery. On a clear, crisp morning, with the sun casting a golden hue over the mountains, Samuel closed his eyes one final time, his heart overflowing with gratitude. The village mourned his passing but celebrated his life, for they knew that his legacy would live on in the hearts and minds of those touched by his wisdom. And so, the story of the old man who had learned through lifelong experience that God's realization can be attained only in solitude became a cherished tale passed down through generations. The village, forever transformed by his presence, continued to honor the power of privacy and its profound connection to the divine. And high up in the mountains, Samuel's spirit lingered, a gentle breeze whispering the timeless wisdom he had discovered in solitude. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more stories.